Hello friends, welcome back to automation testing Saturday.com. So this is Selenium web driver part 55 and today I'm going to show you how to run Selenium test in headless mode using Google Chrome. Okay. Using Chrome browser. So if you remember in Selenium web driver part 51, we have already covered testing in headless mode using couple of drivers like we have used HTML unit driver and phantom JS. Now today I'll show you how you can run your test cases using Google Chrome in headless mode. Okay. So this is a small topic today. It won't take much time. Uh, so let's get started. So my Eclipse is already opened here and uh, what I'll do, I'll create a class okay, inside uh, the existing project. So here I have uh, WebDriver concept 3. This will take this project. okay. And if you go over, uh, this is Maven project, and uh, here we have pom.xml. So here we have Selenium Java, Java uh, Selenium hyphen Java uh, dependency, and other dependencies like testng, and this is commons. Anyway, these two are not required, but uh, yeah, I think it's good to have. I mean, uh, this is part of this project, so let let it be like this. And uh, what I'll do. I'll create a class over here. If you see in this uh, project, we have this src test java folder, and inside that we have package called com.test. And uh, simply what I'll do, I'll create a class over here. Let's give Chrome headless Chrome. Click on finish, and simply I'll create method over here headless test and uh, now we need a chrome driver right so I'll pick the chrome driver from here from another class we have to set the path of chrome driver so simply I'll copy paste this code system dot set property now to work with headless browser using chrome we need to create the object of chrome options class okay so let's create chrome options and uh, yeah we can create like this chrome options why we have created because to customize our browser we need to set a couple of parameters to run our test cases in headless mode okay so so that's why we have created the object of chrome options class so let's use this object and set couple of parameters so we have method add arguments there will set parameter let's say I mean we should uh, set parameter like headless the first parameter uh, make sure that you should have a correct spelling headless and the second parameter is the window size okay so how you can give window hyphen size and is equal to 1200 and uh, 1200 by 400 okay now using this uh, now we'll create the object of chrome driver okay so web driver web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver and what we'll do we'll pass the in chrome driver we'll pass the this chrome options object okay so simply pass this object now whatever we are uh, we are going to do we can perform actions okay so first of all we'll navigate to any particular url so let's say google.com and put it over here and second thing let's perform couple of uh, other activities so that we can understand whether uh, uh, it is working in headless mode or not so you can uh, test start and let's print test and and in between we'll do one thing we'll uh, print the title of the page okay 
गूगल टाइटल इज एंड सिंपली ड्राइवर डॉट गेट टाइटल मेथड ओके सो टू गेट द टाइटल ऑफ द पेज सो ऑल आर डन आई थिंक वी आर गुड टू गो एवरीथिंग इज डन सो वॉट वी हैव डन सेट द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ क्रोम ड्राइवर एंड क्रिएट क्रिएट द ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ क्रोम ऑप्शन क्लास सो हियर वी हैव क्रिएटेड एंड यूजिंग दैट ऑब्जेक्ट जस्ट कॉल मैथड एड आर्ग्यूमेंट्स एंड सेट दिस पैरामीटर हेडलेस एंड विंडो साइज and simply after that we need to create the object of uh, chrome driver class and simply we have to pass the object of chrome options and rest are the simple code okay let me just run this so here we have to provide uh, at the red test as we are using test ng so all done let me just run this so it will take some time and then uh, the test will be done now it is executed here you can see yeah google title is without launching the browser we we have seen this right so here you can see google title is google test start google title test end these are so one test case one is passed So here you can see. Now we'll do one thing. We'll verify whether uh, it is launching the Chrome browser or not. Okay. In and I mean irrespective of whether it is headless mode or right. So we need to verify that whether it is working properly or not. Whether it is launching in the background. So how we can verify? We can take the screenshot of the browser. Okay. So what I'll do? I'll apply a screenshot. Uh, 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 code here okay script so already we have created screenshot related uh, script already we have covered so in this base class we have this screenshot so this is how we can uh, take the screenshot so i'll copy couple of lines of code and simply put it over here okay we are uh, we have created the object of this text screenshot since this is interface so this is the reference variable and we are passing the driver okay uh, we have type casted here and uh, simply using file class uh, we are storing in buffer memory okay and what we need to do we need to just use the file utils class to copy the file in desired path so what i'll do yeah we can do like this and uh, yeah no need of uh, this file name and all these parameters so simply we'll delete all this for now we have already exercised those things earlier now in this project if you see we have this screenshot this thing right not this project uh, this project so here we have screenshot folder so i'll take the path and i'll put it over here i'll put it over here one second yeah system okay this is not required system dot get property yeah so this is the path and we need one more parenthesis over here and it will ask at throws declaration so let's declare that yeah this is done now what we'll do yeah so simply add driver dot close at the end and if you refresh this project here you can see we don't have any screenshot over here so a screenshot should be added here okay what is the name of this file we have to give headless dot png okay so the file name should be the screenshot name 
uh, the name of the screenshot file should be headless.png okay so this is done let me just rerun this program again okay so we'll run our test case in headless mode but we'll take the screenshot okay and we'll verify whether it is uh, taking the screenshot or not starting chrome driver you can see here and it will take some time and then it will execute the test case so here you can see the test case got executed and uh, test start google title is google test end okay, here you can see the headless test is passed now we need to simply refresh this project and here you can see the screenshot has been added so if you open this so here you can see the google screenshot in a second we'll do one thing we'll open it in the folder so here you can see the screenshot i think this is based on the size which we have given Uh, I think this should be 600 then it will give proper okay so you can uh, uh, customize this the size of the window okay so this is how you can run your test cases in headless mode using chrome uh, browser okay on chrome browser you can execute uh, your test cases in headless mode so this is all for today guys this is a small video okay and uh, and I'll provide this source code in my blog and I'll provide the link in the description box of this window uh, this video okay and uh, yeah if you're new to my channel then please subscribe and click on bell icon to get the notification for upcoming videos thank you for watching have a nice day bye bye